In this video, we're going to cover Theorem 3, which is in uh, Chapter 2 of the 10th Standard Maths, Samachir Kalvi, and it's found in page 42. So Theorem 3 says that if A, B are two positive integers with A greater than B, then the GCD of A, B is equal to the GCD of A minus B, comma, B. Let's take this example. And let's understand. So let's take these two numbers 90 and 15. According to the theorem, A and B, our A is now 90 and our B is 15. So the GCD of these two numbers should be the same as the GCD of A minus B and B. So what is A minus B? 90 minus 15 will give us a minus b and b is 15 so this will be 75 and 15 so let's write here 75 and 15 now let's repeat the same process so repeating the same process you will get 75 minus 15 and keep 15 <coughs> so it is 60 and 15. Repeat the same process. 60 minus 15 and 15. So that is 45 and 15. Keep repeating it till you get both these numbers to be equal. So here 45 minus 15 and 15 will be 30 and 15. Keep repeating it. 30 minus 15 and 15 will give you 15 and 15. So, 15 is our highest common factor for the numbers 90 and 15. So, this is what is explained here in this illustration. So, it says that in the first illustration, in the, in the first activity, uh, you know, step one, it says that you know, from the given numbers, the two numbers which are given, subtract the smaller from the larger number. So we did that. We took the two numbers and we subtracted the you know, smaller from the bigger number. And then it says from the remaining numbers, subtract smaller from the larger. So from the remaining numbers, our remaining numbers were 75 and 15. So again, we did the same step of 75 minus 15 and we got 60 and we retained the 15. So it says repeat the subtraction process by subtracting smaller from the larger. So we kept repeating it. So when does it say to stop? Stop the process when the numbers become equal. So when the numbers became equal, it became equal here, then we stopped. So what does that mean? The numbers representing equal numbers obtained by step four will be the highest common factor of the given numbers. So 15, what we got is the highest common factor of the given numbers. Let's repeat the same process for this, these two numbers now. So you have 80 and 25. So 80 minus 25 will give you 55. So we write here 55 and 25. So repeat the same process, 55 minus 25, and that will be 30. So you have 30 and 25. Repeat the same process. So that will be 30 minus 25. So you have 5 and 25. So now let's, you know, our uh, A is 25 because it's 25 is the bigger number. So let's take it like this. And 25 minus 5 will be 20. So we have 20 and 5. So repeat the same process. So you will get 15 and 5. Then you get 10 and 5. Then you get 5 and 5. So 5 is our highest common factor 
for 18 and 25. Let's proceed to find the highest common factor of three numbers. So you're given three numbers A, B and C. So if you first you find out the uh, HCF of these two and then the HCF that you get you use that number with the third number C then once you get the HCF of those two numbers that will be your answer. So let's proceed. Let's take the numbers 504 and 396. So we say 504 is equal to 396 times dash plus dash. So this will be 1 and this will be 108. So let's repeat the same process. So if you repeat the same process, your new A will be 396 is equal to 108 times 3 plus 72 will be your reminder. So repeat the process using the new A and B. So 108 is equal to 72 times 1 plus the reminder will be 36. Now repeat the same process. 72 is equal to 36 times 2. So and our reminder is 0. So when a reminder is 0, then 36 is the highest common factor for the first two numbers. So now we're going to use 636 and the 36 that we found and we're going to establish the highest common factor between these two. So let's use the same process again. So 636 is equal to 36 times something plus the reminder. So this is 17 and the remainder is 24. So repeat the same process again. So you say 36 is equal to 24 times 1 here plus 12 and repeat the same process again. 24 is equal to 12 times 2 plus 0. So our reminder is 0. So now we have 12 as the common multiple, highest common multiple. So 12 is the highest common factor for uh, 396, 400, 504, and 636. Thank you for watching Math Tutorial Anand. Please like and uh, you can comment if you have any questions. And do not forget to subscribe to get more videos like this.